My son's first birthday is coming up and it's bluey themed, so stay tuned if you want to learn how to make these bluey invitations. I'm using Canva to design the invitations. The first thing you want to do is click on create a design, type in invitation in the search bar, and then click on portrait. The first thing we're going to do is choose our main image. I bought this set of bluey graphics from Etsy. I'm going to link it down below in the description box. I'm using this picture of the family as the main image. Next, I'm going to go down to background and we're going to change that background color to blue. I clicked on the color picker and then I'm going to select the color of Bluey's body and then I'm going to drag that color to make it a little bit lighter. That way it's a really light blue. I want to create a border on the invitation so I'm going to go to elements and type in square. I'm going to change the color of this square to white and then I'm going to adjust the size of the square until it creates a nice border around the invitations. Once that's done, I'm going to click on the transparency bar at the top and I'm going to adjust the transparency of that white square and then I'm going to send it behind that main image. Now it's time to work on the text. I'm going to click on text and add a heading and I'm going to type in my son's name. Then I'm going to change the font to bubblegum regular. I got this font from thefont.com. Next, I'm going to change the color of the text. Click on that rainbow box and then click on color picker and I'm going to pick the same color as chili and bingo's body. Next, click on effects and then click on splice. After that, we're going to change the color to that orange we picked and then we're going to go back and change that font color to white. Now I'm just going to resize the text until I like the size of it. Now you're going to click on text and then add a subheading. Here you want to type in is turning because this invitation is going to say Lorenzo is turning one. For the number one, I'm going to go to elements and then type in one balloon. I want it to look like Bluey is holding a balloon that says number one. Now I'm just going to reposition the balloon until I have it where I like it. Now I'm going to change the font of that is turning to Amsterdam four. And then once I change that, I'm going to change the color to a dark navy blue. To save me time, I'm going to duplicate that Lorenzo and then I'm going to change the text on it. This is going to say, please join us to celebrate. After that, I'm just going to resize it to my liking. Now we're going to add a few more subheadings. One subheading is going to be for the date. The other subheading is going to be for the time of the party. And then another subheading is going to act as the location of the party. Now I'm going to change the font of the date to Amsterdam 4 and I'm also going to change the color to that navy blue color. I'm also going to change the color of the time of the location to that navy color as well. Now I'm going to change the font of that time and location to HK Grotesque Light and then I'm going to change it to bold. And now I'm just going to adjust that font size to my liking. I thought the bottom part looked a little empty so I searched stroke under elements and I found this gold stroke that I liked a lot. So I ended up positioning that behind the date and the time of the party. I forgot to add the name of the party location before so I went ahead and typed it in and then I'm going to resize everything to fit the invitation. Now that that's complete we're going to add some graphics of the characters. So I'm going to add a little bluey to one corner and then I'm going to add a little bingo to the other corner. I wanted to add a little bit more so next I went to elements and I typed in balloons. I chose these balloons right here because I can adjust the color and I'm going to adjust the color to colors that fit the theme a little bit better. So I changed that red to orange and I changed that blue to a lighter blue. Once I was satisfied with those colors I went ahead and resized it and then I positioned it to fit the card better. After I was happy with that placement, I changed the strings from that cream color to a white. Then I duplicated it and I added it to the other side of the card as well. Then I flipped those balloons horizontally and then I repositioned everything until I was happy with where they were. After I was done with the balloons, I played around with the positioning of the lettering a little bit. And then I wanted to add one more thing. This invitation wouldn't be complete without another heading. I put this episode of Bluey is called and then I changed the color to that navy color and I changed the font to the same font as the time and the location of the party. I wanted to add a curve to that text so I clicked on effects, curve, and then I added a slight curve to it. And then that's our last step. If you wanted to print these invitations through Canva, you definitely could. Just click on print invitations and follow the steps. But I have a printer at home, so I'm gonna go ahead and print them here. 
I'm using plain white cardstock to print this out, but you can use photo paper as well. I'm printing on high quality print mode using my Epson ET4700. And then this is what the invitation should look like once you print them out. Next time I'm going to try to print two to one page. I'm going to use this paper cutter to cut the invitations out just so my lines are more precise, but if you have scissors those work fine as well. When you're cutting everything out using a paper cutter, you want to make sure everything is lined up neatly before you cut, because once you cut you can't go back. After you're done cutting one side, you're going to repeat that step with the remaining three sides, and then you're done. And then this is what the finished invitations look like. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel.